A stadium built to fit thousands sits empty for months. Disappointing fans eager for another season are already crushed by a pandemic. But the fans aren't the only ones counting on this season. Today, we're going to take a in-depth look at how the cancellation, return, and transformation of the game we love has affected Purdue star athlete Rondale Moore. We want his perspective on how this unpredictable roller coaster not only has changed his domain, but how it has changed his personal life and what he thinks will happen in the future. But who is Rondale Moore? Rondale Deshaun Moore is the star wide receiver of the Purdue football team and is currently slated for the NFL. In the 2019 season, through four games, he had 29 receptions and ran for a total of 387 yards with two touchdowns before being injured. In the same season, he returned nine kickoffs for 151 yards and even received the title of Academic All Big Ten in 2019 while maintaining a high GPA of 3.71 during his first football season at Purdue. He was later named as First Team All-America by many sports broadcasting companies, such as ESPN and CBS Sports. Just to add on to that, he is predicted to go into the first round of the NFL draft, showing that he is not only capable of being successful in the classroom, but also on the field. Going deeper and on a more personal aspect, Rondell Moore was born on June 9th in 2000 and is majoring in selling and sales management. He strongly values academics while also being incredibly dedicated to football as Purdue is alma mater. He has stated that he will graduate by the end of his junior year with a full degree while also going into the NFL. But it's also known that Moore is easygoing and has a laid back personality. He has been known to mess around with his former quarterback, David Blau, and once said, hey, what do I run on this play around one in the morning? But he also has stayed close with friends from high school, including teammate Romeo Langford at Albany, New Albany High School, who now plays for the Boston Celtics. What we infer is that during an informal interview, Moore would likely wear plain clothes, such as jeans and sweatshirt, but during a formal interview, would dress with slacks and a plain tucked in shirt. Lastly, he enjoys playing video games with his friends in his free time. But overall, we can see that Moore is a laid back, fun person who is just working hard to succeed. For our setup, we will open with an audio recording of past announcements, cheering on more as he runs for a touchdown, bringing pride to Purdue, announcers, causing dramatic increase in interest into the podcast. Next, we will ask questions about the normal stadium and practice environment Moore has thrived in for the past two years, encouraging him to share his most memorable moments, the traditions, and his favorite pastimes as a Purdue player. Once we've clearly defined the past vernacular, we will discuss how practices ran before the season officially returned. Finally, we will inquire about the current games and how he has adapted to the new procedures. We will ask for the recordings of team traditions, like post-game celebrations or normal practices, to give the audience a more in-depth look behind the scenes and give a more colorful picture of the team's everyday life. We will also go into depth about how COVID has specifically changed the team culture, whether they are still staying strong or has hurt the overall atmosphere in the locker room. Reflecting back, football is an integrated part of many major universities, which includes Purdue, and is something that students, faculty, and alumni all around the world can rally around. The pandemic has altered so many aspects of college life and college football, especially for the Big Ten universities, where there is no exception. Those that are not part of the team, though, don't know how things have changed and how 
have overlooked the pandemic has truly influenced college football and its players, whether it's, it's the present or the future. To us, it doesn't seem like much has been altered by the pandemic. But they were supposed to start at the beginning of the fall semester, and now they're starting October 24th. There was a point when players weren't sure if there was going to be a season at all, putting their futures in a questionable place. That is our perspective. But our goal through this podcast is to provide a first-hand account from the college football players and how daily life on this team has changed so that listeners can understand the true extent of the influence of the pandemic on college football. So the rationale behind this. Despite the delay, the changes, and the health risks this season, Moore decided to return to the field for the game and the team that he loves, even though he initially opted out. Whether we may not know what it is, there must be characteristics of the team the fans, the coaches, just the general atmosphere, or if it's just the game that are worth the risk. Purdue football is specific to our school. Other teams will not understand our variations in our uh, achievements, our celebrations, and our traditions. We want to define Purdue University's football culture through his eyes. Whether this has changed over the past years or it stayed the same, but now during the quarantine and during COVID, it has been leaving fans in the dark for months. We want to examine how our team's behaviors have changed given the present health risks. The mentality and the traditions that shape this team's vernacular will give the audience insight into the fundamental part of Purdue's culture. We want to look into whether the mental health of the team has been affected, the physical health, and how changes around the locker room, whether it's social distancing or wearing a mask the entire time, has changed the overall comp- competitive atmosphere overall. Since football culture differs for fans and players, the audience would appreciate getting a closer look at the team's everyday vernacular. Now specifically both focusing on Dante, he individualized on dialect, especially the different Italian dialects, where they were all similar, but derived from the same base language of Italian, but also that they've been morphed by the people of each area into distinctly different dialects from one another. By comparing Purdue's football team to other teams, whether how they communicate or the different traditions, we would replicate Dante's analysis of regional vernacular throughout Europe. And by going in depth in the podcast, we can look at the differences between our main rival, Indiana University and Purdue University's vernacular culture throughout the teams and see where the differences are. Next, we'll explore the expectations and everyday behaviors for the team members on and off the field and we'll build a description of a place similar to Lancis's. We will determine Moore's ideas of normalcy and reveal the vernacular culture of the Purdue University's football team. But we'll also show the change through the, this current uh, crisis and show how there are now differences from the past and now in the present. For our interview prep, we have decided that we will contact Aaron Hodges the Director of Football Player Personnel for Purdue, and we'll go be able to directly contact him and get connected with Rondell Moore. And finally, some potential interview questions that we could pose for Rondell to uh, answer. We could ask, how has the pandemic affected your career and post-college plans? Whether he has decided to change from going into the draft and playing the NFL, or it has just made his drive even more. We'll also ask how the team expectations adapted for the shortened and later schedule, whether it has made players more uncertain, scared, or just anxious in general, and how they are dealing with the effects of COVID-19. We'll also ask how do the players expect the game to change without fans in the stadium? 
We will also ask, we've seen on the news that you've decided to return to college football despite the pandemic. What were your concerns about health risks in the game before and after opting back in? Will the concerns you have now change how you play the game? And whether that's because of quarantine, COVID, or just the crisis in general. And finally, the last few questions. How is the team prepping for their upcoming season? And how is it different from the original plan of this year and also past years? How are there any new COVID-related precautions before being affected the team's practices? We'll also ask about Margaret Lantis, how she was an anthropologist who studied how people interacted with different places they went in their daily lives and the people of these places. And we'll translate that into how will the atmosphere surrounding the football games shift going into the strange season given safety protocols. We'll also ask what unique aspects of Purdue's culture convince you to return this season despite the risks. And finally, are there any past traditions and behaviors you miss in the current season? Overall, we feel like that Purdue's culture, whether it's through its vernacular in the present day or in the past, will show it through Rondale Moore's answers and give a further in-depth look into the team for viewers to understand.